Now I'm asking you, on this board I've got five prisons. Do you recognise any of these famous prisons? Now what about number one? Do you know what that is? It's in San Francisco I believe. Al Capone went there. That is Alcatraz, okay? Number two, uh, that's the Tower of London. So that's a bit closer to home where we are. This one, number three. If you're in England, if you're from the north of England, you'll recognise this. All the prisoners, they broke onto the roof. Do you know what it is? That's Strange Ways. Number four, I don't know if you've ever um, heard about the troubles in Northern Ireland. Well, terrorists went there. It's called the H-Blocks, okay? Number five, no one ever guesses this one. It's where Nelson Mandela went in South Africa and that is Robin Island. So I'm asking you today, do you recognise any of these famous prisons? But did you recognise that every single one of us has a prison? Some of us, we, we carry the chains of a broken heart if someone's hurt us. Some of us, we carry the chains of bitterness if we've uh, got a pain there in our heart. Some of us, it's the, it's the pain of, uh, of uh, alcohol addiction or drug addiction, we carry that chain. But there's one chain that every single person alive carries. Do you know what it is? It's the chain of death. Right or wrong, 10 out of 10 people die. Is that right or is it wrong? It's true, isn't it? And I want to ask you, how do we break this chain of death? Well, my friend Paul's going to tell you right now. Yes, yeah, so all those things that Joe's just said are things that trap us and enslave us and we're, we're bound to, in bondage to. Right? But there's one person who can break those chains and it can break the chain of death because, as Joe's just said, every single one of us will one day die. And that's a problem because we don't want to die. Nobody wants to die. But there's one person who has completely defeated death. The only person who could defeat death, and that's the Lord Jesus. He laid down his life. We sometimes say it was the, 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 the scourgings that the Romans gave with the whips and the, the crown of thorns and the nails that killed him, but it wasn't. The Bible says that he laid down his life for us. He took his life, he laid down his life. No one demanded his life of him. He laid it down because there was no requirement for him to die because the Bible says the wages of sin is death or the gift of God is salvation through Jesus Christ. So he wouldn't have died, but he laid down his life as a punishment for sin. All our sins were laid on him and he died in place of us. So when he died, he satisfied the demand of God's wrath of sin and anger of sin upon Jesus. Jesus died in our place and he paid for that and through his death, the death of the righteous for us the guilty, sin was defeated. Death was conquered and to prove that he conquered death and that God had accepted his sacrifice on the cross, God rose Jesus from the dead three days later to show that we can have that hope in him because he has broken the bounds of death.